dealing with um, transaction dates. Um, you know, it's not uncommon for a, either a data entry error or um, you know something to change after the fact where the date was entered wrong. Either you know the, the day was wrong, month was wrong, whatever it may be. Um, unfortunately, there's not a easy way to just change that on a transaction once it's been posted. So say you enter an invoice with um, you know, you accidentally put March 14th instead of February 14th. Um, there's no way to just change that transaction to be back in February. What we need to look at doing is just voiding that transaction and then re-entering it with the correct date. Um, and you should be able to use the same document number and everything in most scenarios. Um, you know, the same applies for checks if they're ever printed with the wrong date. Um, we really just want to look at um, voiding those out and re-entering them with the correct date. Um, similarly, you know, on, if you're working with a bank transaction or even a general ledger entry, um, canceling or, or reversing that entry and re-entering it is going to be the best option. Um, there are some ways to do it through the back end to be able to kind of update that information if it's a scenario where it wouldn't be feasible to void a transaction or you know, you had a batch of 200 transactions that all have the wrong date. Um, if you contact us here at DFC, we can do some work in the back end to kind of fix that and help make things um, easier without having to void everything in the front end. But in general, the best practice is to void those through the front end and re-enter them with the correct date.